Oh, hi. I'm trying to do this quarter trick with my hand, also known as my fist. I haven't really... I'll work on that later. I need to practice a lot more to get that trick done. So welcome back to another episode of My Futures with Mr. Ben. And today's project we are going to be working on doing something like creating our own homemade crossword. No, word search. I get those two confused all of the time. Our own word search. And today we have a special guest, very special guest. It's someone that I hang around with a lot. And our guest host today is Tux from Animal Crossing. You might not know who that is, but I will go ahead and show you who it is in one moment. Let me beam him over here. I think he's at home sleeping. Uh, hope he wakes up. Okay. Um, there he is. Look at that. There's Tux. Let's see, Tux, can you hear us over there? Oh, look like he just woke up. He put a face mask on. Okay. And let's see. Hmm. You want to say anything, Tux? He doesn't have a mic, so he's going to have to, like, type it or something. Tuck. Okay. There you go. Tuck says hi. So Tuck is going to be joining with us today. And he is going to also work on the, um, is it word search or crossword? Cro no, crossword. Word search with us. All right. So Tuck, go ahead and go to your table. So this is his house. He's leaving his house. Um. Tux, by the way, is coming from, again, Animal Crossing from uh, and on Nintendo Switch. So, oh, he's outside of his house. Oh, he had wanted... So we're going to get to the word search, but he had wanted me to uh, show everyone his little house. And so this is his house on the left. This is Cody's house, his friend. And then they build a water fountain, and they have a giant bear. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I've seen uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be rude. This is, he worked a lot on this place. They have a little uh, workout place here. Yeah, okay, I see it, I see it. All right, Tux, go ahead and head over to your table. Ooh, looks like, Tux looks like he got some fruit growing. All right, so he's moving over here, moving around. Right, we're we're going to have to wait a little bit. Um, he likes to take his time. I appreciate that, though. All right, he's going over here. Looks like there's some some more friends' houses, and he is going over here. Geez, Tux, you oh, you got a playground. Oh, I like it. Very nice, Tux. All right, Tux, Tux, can you turn that 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 toy off though? All right, all right. Tux, please. All right, thanks, Tux. So Tux is gonna go over to his table. Oh, you got a stereo system, too. Oh, I like it. In the Zen Garden? Okay. Do what you do. All right, so he's going to stay here, and he is going to work on or get ready to work with the project, work on the project with us. So, again, um, let me put Tux over here to the side. You can't really see him, but he's there. Now, today's project is a DIY crossword search, and what you want to do is you just need a piece of paper like this, Pen, permanent pen, pencil, something to write with. And I'm going to show you exactly what you do. First, you will think of a couple of names or words that you like. Let me go ahead and think of a couple. Hmm. You'll be able to see in a second. I'll keep the words as a, a, uh, hidden for, for the moment. And the um, game. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Tux is also going to be working over there. So let's see. We've got Tux over there working. And let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to put this in a mode where you can also watch me work. So I'll do it. This is the first time I've done this, so we can do this together. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to go get your stuff and then come back. I'll still be here. And let's get started. I'm going to change this camera just a little bit. Uh, Tux, I'm going to take you out of the picture if that's okay. All right, cool. There we go. I think this should work. So I've picked some words. They might be upside down for you. 
camera cat, our esteemed camera feline, has not got the other camera ready yet. But we will work with what we have. But no matter how you look at it, this square should be a square. Four words I've cho chosen are candy, gum, games, and cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all those. But what we want to do is make some... You don't need to have grid paper either. You can just use any type of paper. So we're going to make some lines, go fast. Tucks, are you following me? Ooh, it looks like the mail came. All right. Much props to the mail service, still delivering us our mail. I appreciate that too. All right, so we're making a bunch of lines. They don't need to be straight. You see my lines are pretty crooked. Some of them are okay though. But I have been practicing at lines for a long time. I learned when I was doing art when I was younger to just practice making lines and they'll get straighter as you do it, especially for a specific type of art. But I haven't done that in a while. So this is okay. So what I want to do now is take one of my words, let's choose candy, because we should always start with candy, and just put it anywhere. Um, let's put it here, C-A-N-D-Y. Let's do cool, maybe upside down, right? And also looks like look. When I'm done, I will turn this around so you can see. Uh, let's put game somewhere. So what we're doing is just putting the letters in the little boxes. Uh, so we have games, we have cool, and we have gum, everyone's favorite. Um, let's just do gum diagonal like this. And you know what's even cool? You can put your uh, friends or family's name in, in here, and then you can give it to them and show them what you did. So again, let's use my friend's Trey's name. So I might give this Trey to, uh, to figure out later on. And let's put Trey right here, T-R-E. Now we choose from all the letters of the alphabet, just randomly, and just put letters in wherever we want. X, O, C, T, I. That's not an I. That's an E, O, X. I think I like vowels. R, E, A, C, D, L, M, N. Oh, now I'm doing the alphabet. Oh, we can just do that. M, O, P, and just put them all over. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then start over. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. That way you don't have to think of random letters. L, and you can practice the alphabet at the same time. O, P, Q, R, S. I'm going and going. I keep going and going, but we're almost done. Z, O, throw a number one in there just because. Three, now we're on numbers. You can do whatever you want. It's your own crossword puzzle. I even throw a little cat right here. It's not a cat, it's a smiley face. Now it's a cat. That's a camera cat. He's hiding in here somewhere. Throw some other letters in here. I think I like the middle part of the alphabet. That's what it looks like. Um, C A E O X. I like X too. N O uh, L O V E. What about that? Throw the number four in there. Number seven. Props out to 47. And uh, what's the letter I haven't used? I think I'll use all of them but I haven't used a dash, also known as a hyphen. So now, oh, 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 oh. Now we have our own crossword puzzle. I'm going to switch this back over here, put this the correct way, and we made our own crossword. Did I say crossword again? It's a word search. What's the difference? I don't. Tux, do you know? Tux, he's still busy on his thing. Um, so anyways, this is our on word search crossword and we made it tux is working oh i think tux has actually found some peaceful time to meditate instead of working on the project that is okay too i'll let him just go ahead and meditate in the zen garden so we have our word search and you can give it to somebody say if i gave it to my friend trey he would look on here and he knows he's such an amazing awesome person he would be like hey Mr. Ben, I found my name first, and he would feel really good about this and the day, and that's what we want.
So that's how you make your own word search. I'm not going to really bother uh, Tux from Animal Crossing right now because he is in his Zen garden, and I appreciate him taking time to find some quiet time and just relaxing. He doesn't always need to be working on a project. I appreciate that. So until next week, we will see you soon. Does that sound about right, Tux? So, like, I keep forgetting I shouldn't bother him. I'm sorry, Tux. All right, Tux, I'm going to uh, see you later. Everyone say bye to Tux. Bye, Tux. And I will say, uh, let's say bye to our, oh, I just noticed Camera Cat. The camera cat also loads the banners at the bottom. Right now it says our guest host is. But it should have said some things like let's try because we should always try what we do. And then here we go because we got to add action to that. And then until next week. Thank you, camera cat. He, he sleeps on the beach. He sleeps an awful lot. So I will talk to camera cat. And until next week, I will see y'all in the internets. Peace.